Welcome to the Team Lawson channel. I'm Teresa. I'm Mike. And, and we're millennials, millennials and we're making it. On our channel, we discuss all things that meet within the intersection of millennial marriage and special needs parenting. We want to create a community that's both inclusive and encouraging. So before we get any further in the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit subscribe, share us with a friend. We're going to get into talking about traveling. But before we get into talking about traveling, Make sure you smash that like button. I said that already. So you can let the algorithm know oh. that you think we're awesome. I'm easily annoyed today. So, what was I about to say? What we're about to talk about. Oh, yeah. So, we're talking about traveling. We traveled. Yes, we did. We had a good time. An awesome time. Didn't want to come back. Right. So, um, Kit has spring break. So, we took her to my parents' house, which is in northern Louisiana. And then we drove to Dallas and flew out of Dallas to Phoenix, Arizona. Um, we stayed in Phoenix, Arizona for about five days. And then we flew back, flew back and to Northern Louis flew back to Dallas, drove to Northern Louisiana to pick up the kid and then came home. So total travel time was about nine days. We left on Saturday, came back on Sunday. So that's... Yeah, no. Is that right? Eight days? Eight. Eight days. Okay, okay. total traveling was eight days. Um, we were in three cities because we did a nonstop flight. Um, and that's part of the reason why we drove to Dallas. So we, so we could do... And the... Listen. Flights, hotels, cheap. Super cheap right now. Um, so not in so much saying that you have to travel now, but if you would like to travel, this is a pretty good, it's an affordable time to do so domestically anyway. Yeah. I was just going to say, make sure your stuff in order before you purchase anything. Okay. So first let's talk about some of some before we get, yeah. Let's talk about some tips for traveling. So pandemic, tra pandemic traveling is a little bit different. Um, it's not crazy though. We were we did a lot of Googling and researching because we don't know anybody super close to us has traveled recently, do we? If we did, we didn't realize that we did. I don't know that we know of anybody who's flown or even driven. We have some friends who are doing some traveling well, coming up. Well, some of my coworkers, they've been driving different places. Driving, but nobody yeah. who's flown. And so we were, and there's not a lot. We were Googling like what to expect, what to expect. Well. Well, there was one guy who flew after me. He went to Arizona. After? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So first things first, you need to go COVID shot. Um, CDC does not recommend, it's it me? Yeah. CDC does not recommend that anybody travel without a COVID vaccine. Um, people are still getting COVID. There are some cities that are still having major outbreaks, even in the United States. Um, and so make sure you get a COVID shot so you are not part of the problem. Um, there are three. Johnson & Johnson is back on the market and pretty fine for you if you... Johnson & Johnson is fine for you if you do not have any pre-existing conditions that will cause blood clots. Uh, six people, Michael. Six people out of millions. Stop. Man, Johnson Johnson got people growing their extra neck and stuff, man. Not what happened. Six <laughs> people had blood clots and were hospitalized. I know, I know, I know. That is what happened. Um, and that is an option, especially if you want to be fully vaccinated before you travel. Um, you weren't fully vaccinated before we traveled. You didn't get your shot till we came back. I got my last shot when we came back. Right. And so yeah. I was fully vaccinated. Michael needed a shot. We both got Moderna, which is 82% effective with the first shot. And so I was less freaky outish about him traveling with just one shot. Um, so plan to make sure that you have both shots before you go. There's normally a two week gap in between. So plan accordingly. If you can get it, which is hard. Um, Louisiana has been open to get COVID shots for a long, a lot longer than a lot of other places, but, um, it has been much easier, I think, in Louisiana than in many other states to get the COVID shot. Yeah, which I'm because we was one of the highest in the nation. Really. True. True. But California is also, um, one of the higher places and just lay people are, I got mine a, a lot earlier than he got his because I work in healthcare. Um, uh, well, 
where I work is considered under the umbrella of health care. So I was class 1B to get COVID shot. And I probably could have gotten it a couple of weeks before I actually did. So I didn't you get it for me because I didn't plan on getting it. He did not. And, I, I and if he had not, we would not have gone anywhere. We just wouldn't have. Um, I would just been like, nah, I'm staying home. Um, and then two, expect for different localities to have different COVID orders and mask mandates. We drove in Louisiana and even through Louisiana, we saw like when we left, the entire state was under a, a mask mandate. And so everybody should have been wearing masks in public spaces. But the further we got away from the metropolis areas in southern Louisiana, the less less we saw people wearing that the mask mandate being enforced in public. To the point where it was actually kind of scary. Um, just like y'all just ain't nobody wearing the people that work here, the people that are patron in this way. And we just stopped at gas stations, you know, and it's just like y'all not y'all y'all just not gonna wear masks, huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and then from driving to Texas, I totally forgot that Texas has been wide open for about two months now. Like just COVID who? We ain't doing COVID no more. And so and they have the the uh and the vaccination rate is low, which is, is just weird to me. But anyway, so um the camera needs to be facing your mouth because I am hot in this mic right now. Um, that's so much better. Girl, you're hot, period. Anyway, mm. so I <laughs> literally, we walked into a gas station because um, I can't remember. I had to go to the bathroom and we got stopped and got food, but the place we went to, um, the bathrooms were closed. Um, so we went to a gas station so that I could go to the bathroom um, and... Nobody had on a mask. And I was just like, what is... Like, it was worse in Louisiana. Because in Louisiana, they at least had signs that say you have to have a mask. And people walk in and have it under their nose. But they would, like, have a mask and nobody. Nobody had on a mask. And I'm just like, what is going on? And Michael was like, we're in Texas, Teresa. I was like, oh. And so, be prepared for that. You know, be prepared for um, different places to have different levels of protocols um which for me was like i forgot like i literally forgot and it was kind of like jarring <laughs> a little bit um and i think maybe if i'd have been more aware that we probably wouldn't have stopped in texas we probably just went straight to the airport because the airports are all still under mask mandates which brings me to the third point uh if you're taking a flight, make sure if you can, try to get either first class or find a plane with space on it because uh, most planes nowadays are packed from front to back. Yeah. So you're going to be crowded and miserable on the plane. I'm just, you know, just a heads up. Also, speaking of masks, wear your mask. Most, well, not most, all airlines are requiring you to wear a mask or you will be thrown off the plane. Even if you're drunk. Even, like you need to even if you're asleep, you need to keep your mask keep on. Keep your mask on. Yeah. Also, hand sanitize use hand sanitizer for everything. Whatever you touch in the airport, whatever you touch on the plane, hand sanitizer immediately. Or if you can, if you say you're on the edge of the seat, go wash your hands and hand sanitize immediately. Get your paper towel and that's what I know I'm going to do anyway. Get a paper towel and open the doors and, you know, until you can get back to your seat. But make sure you use a hand sanitizer for everything because you're on the plane with people you don't know. You don't know their health condition. You don't know if they just getting over the coronavirus or not. You don't know if they know they had it or where they've been or who they've been around or if they're yeah, social so distancing. Make Everybody sure. is traveling from every walk of life, from mm -hmm. people who are particularly careful and follow all of the guidelines to people who could care less. So, yeah. And, um, make sure you're wearing your mask, you're wearing hand sanitizer, choose your flight wisely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, make sure also that you're prepared for the precautions 
at the airport, specifically when you travel, um, you're not going to touch anybody and TSA is social distancing. And so if you are uncomfortable going through the metal detector, um, especially for our um, differently able bodied friends who um, may maybe use crutches or uh, wheelchairs or what else. I don't think we didn't do any pat downs, did we? Mm -mm. They weren't doing any of that. Um, make sure you want to be able to move through as quickly as possible. So make sure you've um, you're make yourself abreast of all of the um, carry on requirements. If you can avoid checking, do because you want to avoid crowds, and there's always a crowd when you're going to get check bags. Our flights were so full that on the way home. Uh, we flew American Airlines. Yeah. So on the way home, um, they were like, listen, we don't have enough carry-on space for the people that are um, getting on this plane. So we're checking for free. And I wish we hadn't have done it because we checked for free and it was free. And so that was nice to have to worry, not to have to worry about um, fighting people to get to your bag on and off the plane. However, that meant that we had to wait in the crowd to get our bags um, late at night, which was also not fun. But... Be aware of the, the precautions and get information on the place that, places that you're traveling to and through. Um, we chose not to have a flight that had a layover. That's part of the reason why we flew out of Dallas. Um, so we could just get on a plane and get off the plane and be done with traveling. Um, but if you're going to get off of the plane at a stop, especially if you have a long layover and you're going to leave the airport, you need to make sure that you're able to do so. There are still some cities... Um, Definitely DC. I feel like someplace that one of our friends is going to, they're having to keep update updated with the the precautions when you get into the state. Definitely if you're flying internationally, you're probably gonna have to do some sort of quarantine at your own expense. So be prepared for that. Um but I don't think anywhere in the states is that extreme, but they may not let you come if you're coming from a particular place. So you want to be abreast of all of that information before you book a ticket or get a hotel because you don't want to be out of pocket. Um, and then just as a precaution, everything we did was refundable, refundable in case any of us got sick mm -hmm. or if something happened in the place, we're just like, hey, it didn't look like we should go to this place at this time, you know? Let me throw this in there before we move on. Another good thing to have when you're traveling, even though the place that you're going might not require it, if you have been vaccinated, show them your card. Yeah. Some places may require you to, hey, before you get off that plane, let me Nobody's see. Nobody's doing that yet. I know they're not doing it yet, it, may it, come it to might that be coming. And it's always it might be coming. I had my sure mom. You he forgot his because I kept telling him. I did. I did. And he did but, but, you know, just don't do what I did. <laughs> just make sure you have your vaccination card. So that way... If they do come down to that, you ain't got to worry about them, you know, shipping you back. And <laughs> or just, you just having to pay pay out of pocket to turn around and go back where you came from. Yeah, exactly. So, have those cards. But, also, whenever you go somewhere else, still be prepared to social distance. Right. Don't be, if, if you can help it, do not go in the crowds. Because, like I said before, you're around people you do not know. You don't know their health conditions, their situations. You don't know if they've been sick. You know they got people walking around sick and don't know they're sick. So be careful. Still be prepared to do six feet. Most airports are still preaching that. The one in Phoenix, they had the mayor and the governor come on the loudspeaker. <laughs> it was a recording, but, you know, they still had the mayor and the governor letting you know, hey, practice social distancing, practice mayor. six feet. You know, so commissioner of health. Yeah, be sure, be sure you still practice. And that. even to the destination that you're actually going to, yeah. um, we were walking around downtown Phoenix, Arizona, with masks on, mm -hmm. um, riding public transportation with masks on, mm -hmm. um, going to their restaurants and stuff with, with masks, masks on. on. Yeah. Um, uh, so you know, COVID isn't over. I know we would like for it to be over. Once you get vaccinated, you feel like you want to feel like, oh, this is weight off of me. But mm. there's 50% of the United States still hasn't had their first shot. Yep. And so you want to be mindful of the fact that COVID is still going on. Um, but I tell you what. I, what? See, I mean, I'm not saying we do, but I see light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. If everybody do what they're supposed to do, yeah. we see light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, which brings me to my next point 
Uh, when you come back from your vacation, look for symptoms, whether you have been vaccinated or not. Check yourself. Check the person that you've traveled with for symptoms. You don't want to go to Timbuktu and then come back and infect everybody. Make and sure also, you check even if you don't have symptoms, people who are unvaccinated around you, like kids who can't get vaccinated yet, the CDC is still unsure of how infectious a person who has been vaccinated with COVID can be if they contract COVID. Because the 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 efficacy um, of these vaccines are based off of how well they can keep you out of the hospital, not so much how well they keep you from actually getting COVID. If you get COVID, you're very unlikely to get sick or even know that you have it with being vaccinated. However, that they're not sure if that doesn't mean that you can pass it on to someone else. And so since they're not sure, just move with an abundance of caution. Um, when I came back, um, I was... Um, when I came back to work, I work with the elderly and disabled. It was 10 days before I um, went into the office or did any, it was longer than that before I did any home visits. Just to be sure, like if I got, if I ever get anything, I don't want to ever give it to somebody else just because I wanted to go on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're in an environment you don't know or you've never been to. So yeah. All right, so those are the tips that we have for you guys. Hopefully, you guys go ahead and get vaccinated so we can open back up and do all the awesome things that we used to do during the summertime. I know summer travels is coming up and people want to go out and about and see people in this birthday party season and barbecue season. Mother's Day is coming up. You still got time to get at least your first shot before Mother's Day. So go ahead, um, do what you got to do so we can get to where we got to go. And if you know anybody who's traveling, they can like, share, and subscribe to our channel and uh, smash the like button on this video. They can follow us on our social medias. Facebook, we are Team Lawson. Instagram, we are Team Lawson 225. If you have any serious questions or inquiries, you can email us at Team Lawson. Is it 225? At Gmail? Yeah, Team Lawson 225. Team Lawson 225 at gmail.com. Or you can call our Google number. You guessed it. 504-252-0531. We love y'all. God bless you. We'll see you next video.